Welcome to the Ordinary Guy Garage. I'm Scott, an ordinary guy. All right, well, got the radiator deal all fixed up in the Chevy, and now I'm thinking on a new deal. Since I had it in here and was messing with it, I, I thought, you know, I got this big old dent in one of the doors, and uh, I, I don't know much about body work. Um, I mean, I've done little bits here and there, and, and uh, the Chevy, I want to do all the body work and the paint myself on it. So what I figure I would do, I, I think I need to, the passenger door, it's got a pretty good dent in it, and I think I need to put a new door skin on. Um, but I figure before I do that, it's a perfect place, be, a perfect place to try out one of these stud welders and see if I could, you know, pull the dent out first. And, you know, worst case scenario is I screw it up worse than it is and I put a new door skin on. You know, best case is I fix it and I don't need to put a door skin on. But uh, either way, I'm gonna learn something. So I'm all for that. So what I did was I went down to Harbor Freight, bought a Harbor Freight stud welding gun for that. I had, I had saw an article a while back in Hot Rod or Car Craft or Popular Hot, I don't know, one of the magazines, and they were trying out one of these stud welders and they, they were impressed with the way that it worked. And then also I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, the Motor Trend shows and uh, on that Roadkill Garage show they had uh, that dude Dulcich that does really good body work, got one of these and was using one of these on, on one of their project cars and he was having good results. So I figure for a hundred bucks, I'm going to give it a shot. Like I said, worst case scenario, I screw it up worse than it was. And I go right down, back down the path I was headed down anyways. And maybe I even learned something. So anyways, that's my plan. All right, well, here's the dent. Let me step back a little bit. There's the dent right there in the passenger's door that I'm going to work on. See, I got my truck halfway in the shop. It's about all I could fit because you got the El Camino in here. So if it would stop raining long enough, I'd put the El Camino back out. But for now, this is what I'm working with. Do what you got to do. Um, this, you can see, it has some uh, body filler has been on, is, is in it. And this line right here, this body line, right in here in this section here has uh it doesn't have a crisp line right in there now between my dad and myself we've owned this truck since 1969 so that and my dad never was in an accident um so this must have happened before he bought it so no big deal like i said it's got some work has already been done to the door so if i can't fix that it's not a big deal, but I'm going to give it a shot. Like I said, ain't got nothing to lose. So I'm going to go prep it. It says to grind it and get a nice clean surface and then stick your little weld deal in there and you weld it to the door and then you use a slide hammer and you pull your dent out. So we're going to give it a shot. So hang on. Well, I've never done this before. <clears throat> But I did watch a video on YouTube, so I'm pretty much an expert. We'll see what happens. Sorry about the lighting, but you know, it is what it is. So from what I reckon, you put it in there. And I thought I heard somebody say, you find the deepest spot of your dent and you start working your way out of there. So I'm gonna put it right there. Here's my button, it says hold it tight, put it in and... All right. I think I'll put a few of them in there. See what happens. It says to put it for half to a second. Something like that. Obviously that one wasn't long enough. Let's try that one. Ooh, sucker's hot. I'm gonna try a different one. Move it over some. Put another one over here. See what happens. Alrighty. Here comes the fun stuff. Oh, there's one in there.
I'm thinking just do a little bit at a time. Maybe I go to the next one. Well, it seems like I'm making a little bit of headway here. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but you know, I had a pretty good dent going all the way down here and then across. And this here is pretty much out, but right here, yeah, the metal stretched really bad. So I'm gonna have to figure that out, I guess. But um, the what I found was the Harbor Freight thing comes with two sizes, a three millimeter and a two millimeter of these pins. The two millimeter, you can grab a hold of it pretty good, but they tend to break off. And the smaller ones don't break off so much. So I went through all the big ones thinking that's the one I needed to use and then went to the smaller ones and they actually work a little bit better. So, and then I'm almost out. So I went by the body shop or paint supply and I bought a, a box of them. Cause anyways, it's starting to come out okay, I guess. Um, I'm still thinking that I'll probably reskin this door I don't know we'll find out but it's it's pretty beat up it was underneath here years ago before my dad bought it so you know this would have to be back in 60 well before 68 this had been in a in some kind of fender bender because there's bondo on under here and I know you know it didn't happen while we owned it so but anyways I'm going to go ahead and continue on with this. Just wanted to do a little update. Uh, inside, you know, when you pull the door panel off, there's not very much room to get your arm down in here to do any like hammer and dolly work. So it's pretty much just all pulling it from out here. So anyways, let me, I'll, I'll pull the camera down and kind of go over it a little bit and see if that comes out all right. All right, well, here's the dent. A little better shot of it. You can kind of see it maybe from an angle there starting to come out you know I'm, I'm getting it pulled out it looks crappy but you know whatever I'm just learning and a lot of these things when I did them they were popping out so I'll have to go back through here with my uh, MIG welder and, and fill all those little holes back in so and then this line right here was was sticking out like this so just by pulling this up made all that go back in and then right here, there was a pretty good crease that's just about gone. It's getting, it's coming along, looking pretty good. And then this was my access I was talking about. That's the, that's the only access I have. And my arm doesn't fit in there very well. To, I can't get it in there far enough to where I need to. So, but anyways, uh, just, I'm going to get back at it. Well, that's going to be all I'm going to do today. Let me stand back a little bit. I got all the little tangs cut off of there and smoothed out a little bit. If you look down it, you can see that it's pretty, pretty straight now. I mean, it's got a little bit of a high spot right here. And I'm not quite sure what to do about that, but we'll figure it out. And then right here, the metal got stretched when it was uh when it got hit so i don't know what to do about that either you know worst case scenario i can always get a patch panel you know that's about 11 inches which will put it right about here and just do a patch panel on the door right there and smooth it out from there i don't know we'll see but yeah that's that's the deal for today Alrighty, well, I think I'll wrap that up and then I'll maybe make a to make this a two-part video So anyways Pretty happy with the progress I made today uh, Especially for never doing anything like this before. I mean, I I painted the race car the s10 I, I painted that I didn't do any body work to it. It was basically straight, but I just painted it and I figured if it If the paint looked ugly, I'd just make it go faster so you wouldn't see it <laughs> and uh but I, I mean, I've screwed around with body a little tiny bit, but nothing like this. Now I'm, now I'm trying to figure it out. But, you know, when I, if you buy one of these Harbor Freight tools, it works good. It works really good. The, I went to the body re, um, supply 
body shop supply place, paint supply, and bought this big box of them. And uh, they got a little bit different type of tip on it. And uh, it's not like a flat, the other one was real flat. This one's different. And I tell you what, man, these things here, when you weld them on, they don't come off. The other ones were popping off on me. These things here are great. So if you buy one of those, go ahead and get one of these and you'll be way happy. Um, but yeah, the guy was super helpful down there and I needed to buy a, a long sanding block for this and they were out. He said, come down tomorrow. So it's supposed to be not raining tomorrow. So I'm going to drive the truck down there tomorrow and, and uh, get a little bit of advice from him about how do I get that high spot down without popping everything else all cattywampus and all that so maybe maybe he'll tell me oh just stop what you're doing and get a patch panel or maybe he says just mud it and go i, I don't i have no idea like i said i'm just learning so but anyways uh that's gonna be it make sure you subscribe and tell your friends and like and share or whatever um, i'll see you next time stay safe